completely redesigned for 21. This beauty is a front kitchen king. 43 feet, 10 inches long, roughly 14,100 pounds dry. This is your vacation home you've been waiting for. Wait until you see this kitchen on the Heartland Bighorn 3995 FK. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young walking through this beautiful coastal cottage themed Heartland Bighorn 3995 FK. This is a front kitchen full profile fifth wheel. Now, as you can see, you got over six feet of clearance in this one. Can come with three air conditioners on this too, because you're looking at 43 feet, 10 inches long on this big boy. You got dual 15s in it already. Uh, plus, I'll show you the little uh, control panel here in a minute. But three solid surface prep countertops is what you're going to find pretty much in every one of the big horns. But with this 3995 FK, absolutely you're going to have it. A little prep station over here on the off camp side. You're also going to notice with the hardwood maple cabinetry that's all the way around this beautiful unit, they've also done what's known as the black and tan interior. You'll see the dark and the light beautiful contrast and I really think this makes this unit look residential. Right up here on the front cap, the edge of your kitchen, how about that? Privacy window that's one way so if you want to sip your coffee while enjoying the sunrise or sip your little three finger pour while you're enjoying the sun go down, you can right here. Solid surface countertops all the way around, dual USB charging on the campsite and 110 on both sides tons of prep space, matte black finish on my undermounted farmhouse style sink with the apron and the high rise chef faucet with the sprayer. Uh, let me tell you, residential, residential, residential. And with this one being 43 feet, 10 inches long, one thing you're not gonna have to worry about is a storage. All right, you're gonna have it all over this thing. Storage for days. Got storage for days, put a week on it. All right. Beautiful hardwood balances going around my windows. You got the day and night blackout shades as well. Over here on the campsite, you'll notice my decorative inlay around my window. Really like the appearance of that. Plus my Furion three burner cooktop with the middle high output and the 21 inch oven with digital display and readout on that one. Love it, more storage, convection oven here little storage pop right there but pretty much just a plug for your convection oven i mean you could put some spices up there if you want but with all this room and cabinetry why you just got storage everywhere now over here on the off camp side we have my 18 cubic foot insignia fridge freezer combo this does run on electric but you have a water filtration system built into this one not only that uh, the whole RV has a water filtration system known as a whole home water filtration on it. So you get double filtered water right there because you never know at the campground. Big old freezer box. Slip resistant, beautiful, easy to clean linoleum flooring here. More solid surface in my bar slash school work area. These also come uh, supplied with the Stellar quick charge panels. You'll notice that in some of the uh, solid surfaces here. Uh, fantastic if, you, if your phone can do the NFC charge. If not, you got the USB quick charge right here. Some 110s, solid wood bench seat that can easily fold away. More storage over here, plus my circuit breaker box, my little circuit breaker panels down there. Oh, excuse me, Bobby. Another window. One of my three Dometic AC controls, plus my uh, fan controls. We'll see that here. And this right here is your power control system. Now, this one has a, uh, you're set up for 300 watt solar, plus you got the inverter there, plus you got a 2000 watt sine wave inverter in here as well to kind of help run that refrigerator when you need to do the batteries. This is not set up for boondocking though. What that will do is that'll just make sure that if you're pulling 50 amps and you got everything running, you got three ACs cooking, uh, just so nothing trips, it'll knock things off so you don't go over that full 50 amp pull. Got your little command center right here. My little ceiling fan controls, which you'll see right there. Extend the awning, cut on all my lights. 
as well as the water pump and the water heater. This is on-demand water heating, which is very nice. Got my Magnum remote switch there and my slide controls right there. Come into the living area and just opulent. The separation of space on this Bighorn, I love it. I got my Coastal Comfort light gray recliner there with massage heat led light there's another stellar control charging panel i got the sleeper sofa nestled into the slide right here woven and padded carpetless slides a big fan of that plenty of beautiful storage once again these glazed maple cabinets which you usually only see on those high-end motorhomes hideaway hinges good quality construction and manufacturing on this entertainment center 4K 50-inch TV like you see right here, frosted glass inlay with my cabinetry. You'll see my connections, my sound connection. If you want to hook something up there, you could. Cable, TV on the swivel, little storage there, the black and tan decor, and the Furion 40-inch fireplace right there, multiple flame settings, multiple light settings. And of course, my Jensen AM FM Command Center, Bluetooth, HDMI, dual zone. Dude, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Extendable dinette table right here, freestanding with the large panoramic windows and the residential inlay with the texture like you see in the, in the uh, kitchen, the LED lights right there. And you'll notice too, Bobby, if you, if you look under there, what do you not see? Legs. This is a legless dinette. Love that because sometimes in RVs you get those pipes and you're just always knocking your knees when you're trying to get comfortable. Beveled edges on the slides plus over six foot high clearance. LED backlit fascia on the decorative tops there. Another large window here. Big old bathroom, high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush. And you got this awesome walk-in shower right here. One piece with the glass enclosure. Check out my shower head. That's almost as big as my head, which I can't believe there's something out there that might be. Window, skylight inlay, max vent fan right there. Solid surface countertop here on my decorative single basin vanity sink. There's my fantastic vent controls for my fan, which we also have one of those in the kitchen. Mirrored medicine cabinet with storage. I mean, just take a look at the decorative inlay on this they didn't have to go in and add this they didn't have to add the crown top to it just adds a more residential and beautiful feel to it true pocket door right there in the bathroom as well as coming into the master which this is a master suite king size bed nestled in its own slide with storage compartment right there there's my other two chairs you have usb charging on both sides plus i have a nightstand space right here i wish i had one over here gosh that'd be that would make this thing almost perfect but i got plenty of storage up top large window dominating the back wall and over here my entertainment slash armoire hutch boom plenty of space for ward storage solid wood construction on the full extension ball bearing drives here on my drawers plenty of space plenty of power options, plenty of entertainment options. And Bobby, right here behind you, I don't know if you'd be able to get in there, but in this closet is my washer dryer prep. Toss on top of that. They gave me my little Dyson. Watch out now. Vacuum cleaner. You got that right there. Rechargeable. Really does a good job of well, it's Dyson. I don't need to go into details on that. And my AC controls for my master bedroom. Opulent, feature-packed, well-built, updated for 2021. Heartland knocked it out the park with the Bighorn fifth wheels. We've seen the inside of this 3995 FK. Let's go take a look at the outside. So here we are on the outside, the beautiful, all-new Heartland Bighorn 3995 FK. Right away, I want you to see up front this painted automotive coated front cap that wraps around with the LED running lights and the privacy glass right there in the kitchen. What a way to enjoy wherever you're gonna go. Beach, mountains, grandma's backyard. Sip that coffee watching the sunrise. I'm in! Right underneath, we got the Rotaflex hitch. Now, this has some rubber absorption right here 
in the pivots, which is really going to help stop that chucking and bucking when going down the road. And since it is Rotaflex, you do get a little bit more of a turning radius on these because of the angle and how they're designed. Plus, they're super sturdy. Underneath, you get the first of three access points to the storage. I like what they did here. This is their patent pended store more storage option. It's almost like a basement. Here in the front, all they did was they moved the gen box down to the bottom to give you more storage up top. You got your battery access here. Here are my inverters, like I'd mentioned on the inside. You got your 2000 watt pure sine wave right there. Our hydraulic box for the hydraulic uh, leveling system, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Uh, as you notice, there's not really any fluid in it. When you buy it, there will be. You can't, uh, <laughs> can't level if you don't have the fluid. Auto level controls right there. And this is the LCI hydraulic leveling system. You'll see where we have the three points, one right there, one right there, and then one behind the tires. Six points of contact on this one. And this is a hydraulic system. So you're gonna get, it's faster and it's heavier. So you can get up to 60,000 pounds of lift on hydraulic. Got the beautiful tan, black, and cream graphics on this one as well. Fiberglass with the Asdell siding on there. No water damage or, or no water absorption on the inside, plus no off-gassing. 30-pound LP tank right here. Got my Lippert One Control Command Center out here to help with the auto leveling as well as run out my slides, run out, you know, whatever I might need to do. That's a great feature. Right here is the second and third access point for my storage system, heated and enclosed. Plus, I got the lights, GFCI 110 and cable connection right there. Strut supported anti slam latches on our storage doors right here. Plus, you got the covered hinge. This is a Z-frame fifth wheel too, so better known as drop frame. You still get that 12 inch single piece I-beam frame all the way down, but you'll notice it drops down up front so that you get more storage room. Got my storage for my sewer hose right there. Heated and enclosed underbelly, pet leash, solid step over steps leading into the main entry with the extra large low grab handle. I like these, especially if you have some of those individuals have a little trouble going up and down stairs. Great option right here doubles as a door guard as well. Side opening handle, LED floodlight. I got the Dometic awning on this one here, uh, which runs almost the entire side length here. LED option there, adjustable pitch, insulated slides. And the way this, the way this RV is made, the frame is Triple H. Not the uh, Triple H, but it's, it's a triple hollow reinforced aluminum frame. So instead of it just being a you know, an enclosed casing like that, it's actually kind of like that. You get the picture. It's sturdy, that's what it means. 15 inch aluminum rims right there, nitro filled tires, CRE 3000 suspension in there. Get up to three inch of travel, which means you just get some additional safety and security when driving down the road. There's my, my rear leveling. And if you notice, the reason why the rear jacks are always so close to the rear tires when you have the six points is because when the pad is up there's a line that goes from the bottom of that tire to the bumper that pad stays above that line so that when you're going down the road hopefully the first thing you hit is the bumper as opposed to the jack come around here i got the solid mounted ladder going over the top backup camera prep sealed edgeless safety windows all the way around that are tinted Got my two inch hitch right there. Love it. More storage right here. This is a grab and go spot. This is where you would put some of that wet stuff, maybe tackle boxes, fishing rods, this, that, and other things so you don't have to take it on the inside. Magnetic anti-slam on everything. Retractable 50 amp hose. You'll see one of my termination controls right there. Right there are the handles for it behind its own little panel door. Plus, I got the back of my hot water furnace on this one. My low point drains and my sewer outlet connection right there. So on this one, you get a 65 gallon fresh and dual 90 gallon tanks. 90 gallon gray, 90 gallon black. Add that to the fact that you're pre-wired for a 300 amp solar panel, the insulation, the only thing I'd worry about going truly off the grid and boondocking about is that fridge because that thing pulls a lot of juice and it'll drain the batteries in probably six to eight hours if you're dry docking. Water filtration system right here, external shower controls, power. I got me a cable connection plus 
not to be outdone. More cable connections for all those lovely entertainment options. You got your control panel here for your inlet for water. If you want to do the tank fill, going to do the city, or if you're just going to do some dry camping and there's your vent. Sprayer nozzle, black tank flush, hot water heater bypass, port valve, other side of my pass-through storage plus my other 30-pound LP tank. And where's my info panel? Right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? Now, I'd mentioned the dry weight on this one is 14,140 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 16,500 pounds. You're looking at 43 feet, 10 inches long, full profile fifth wheel. If that's what you're looking for, you need to sleep five to six people. I gotta tell you, if you want that vacation home that's this big, this heavy, you got the vehicle that can tow it, Ask your specialist at Camping World or at Gander, hey, is this right for me? Because here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's where I'm going to go camping. Here's how many people I need to sleep because that's really how we're going to help guide you down that path. But this $39.95 front kitchen Heartland Bighorn, if you're a camp chef or you just need space, this is one I put at the top of your list. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it because we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Appreciate it. Hope to hear from you soon. And until then, come check out a bighorn, man. You're beautiful.